Hello guys, welcome back to the Big Data tutorial on Data Fanatics. So today we are going to talk about platform. You can use any platform of your choice, but I will be using Hortonworks in this course. If you have 8 GB or more RAM, then you can use Hortonworks easily. Also for MapReduce and Spark, we won't need any platform. You can just install Python on your local system and run scripts from there itself. I will show you how to do that too. So let's get started. Okay, to install Hortonworks, you can simply type here Hortonworks. Go for the first link www.claudera.com. And then in the product, you can go for downloads. Here you can find this Hortonworks sandbox. This is what we are going to use. So simply click on the download handbox and download the Hortonworks HDP. Here you can choose the installation type and we are going to be using VirtualBox. Now here you just need to add few details and the download will start. Now this is just a file. To execute this, we need a virtual box, a virtual machine. So to install the virtual box, you just need to go on this link, virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads. Here you just need to select your host minus windows and the download will start. Now this is just an executable file. You can just need to follow the normal process and install the virtual box. After installing VirtualBox, this is what it will look like. Let's import our Hortonworks. So in file, you just go and import appliance and select the folder. Simply navigate to your folder. Okay, next. And here you can see that the virtual system, the virtual box has automatically selected CPU cores and the RAMs that it want to provide to this virtual machine. Let's import it. And this is going to take some time. Okay, now the Hortonburg sandbox has been imported and let's start it. Now this process is going to take some time again. Okay, once the virtual box is completely started, this is what it will look like. So here we can see that virtual box welcome screen. And that's what we need to launch our Ambari. We just need to copy that welcome screen link, that local host colon 1080 and paste that in our web browser. So here we go. Let's do it. Now you just need to launch this dashboard. Remember to disable pop-up blocker before launching it. Otherwise, it will show an error. Okay, here we go. So the password is Maria underscore Dave and the username is Maria underscore Dave2. This, this is the username and password. Let's sign in. Okay, so we are in Ambari sandbox right now and all the tools are starting up. We can see over here in operation that start all services. So this is going to take some 10 to 15 minutes to start up. And if you are like, if your laptop has less RAM, then I would prefer that you don't start all the services. Only start the one that you need. For example, over here, I can like abort this operation right now. And I can start the services that I want. For HDFS, I can serve section and start. Similarly for YARN, I can start it right from here. And MapReduce too. So now this is going to take some time to start up. Now HDFS, YARN and MapReduce are finally running. There are no errors, no alerts. Now let's look at the files. Oh, it's testing if HDFS is working fine and 
here it's the HDFS files. Usually we will be storing the files in user Maria underscore Dave. Here we will be storing all the files. You can simply drag and drop or upload right from here. You can drag and drop your file over here or just click on it and browse whatever you file you want to upload. So that's pretty simple. Then for writing and executing Hive queries, we will be using Hive view. And similarly for writing and executing pig queries, we are going to use pig view. Now for MapReduce and Spark, we are going to use the spider. We are going to write our queries here in spider and then run them on the Ambari sandbox or we can uh, run them over here too in our local system using the Python. You just need to install Python and you can very easily run your MapReduce queries or Spark queries on your local system. But to run these queries on Ambari Sandbox or on Hortonworks, you can say, we need to install another software and that's Putty. Let's, let's go ahead and install Putty. Here you can go on putty.org and simply download it and simply download here putty. Select your executable file over here. My is Windows installer, 64 bit. And putty file will be downloaded. You just need to install, it's a simple installer. Okay, after installing and launching Putty, this is what it looks like. You need to enter a host name and port. So the host name is Maria underscore Dave at the rate 127.0.0.1 and the port number is 2222. Connection time, connection type SSH. So you can save the settings over here also. I have said save this as HTTP. You just need to open it up. So this is what opens up. You just need to enter password and the password is again Maria underscore Dave. Okay, now we are in. So we are using sandbox HDB from a command prompt over here. From here, we can run our Spark and MapReduce queries, but we really don't need this because we can run our MapReduce and Spark queries from the local system too, by just installing Python. And we will see how to do that. So that's all for today, guys. Hope you like this video. See you in the next lecture.